here I'm Geodive and in this video what we're going to do is have a look at Mixing old characters which have been created however and before you get a little bit confused I am not going on about the Mixing old animation pack that's available by the marketplace what I'm going on about is these ones Miximo.com whatever these are the ones that I've been messing about with for various projects having a bit of fun and games now the one I'm gonna use now is this UT uh, CH UT test now go to Q download now this is what you want to watch for all right now this pops up as standard for me because this is my standard settings all right you've got all these versions here now what you want is FBX for Unreal Engine 4 okay queue your download download it now, I'm not going to do it now because I already have now let me go here and let's just get the engine in the background there we go so in here you have the textures or whatever and my CHUT test FBX now because we chose the the rig that we wanted e.g. Uh, go on let's do it again FBX for Unreal Engine 4 okay because we chose that we make life a lot more easier and there's my from the last video and uh, let's see uh, let's let's just make a new folder shall we yeah. come on there we go do it that way uh, new folder I just call it mix and moo. Okay. All right, in there. And what we're going to do is import to Miximo and uh, not that. And it's in downloads character UT. Now what we could do is have say none and import it as it is and then retarget all the animations and everything else uh, uh, no can't be bothered so what I'm going to do is click on the skeleton go down make sure I get the one that I want because I've got a few with the same name so we'll go for that one and click import Uh, you have to watch out when you're importing stuff because yes I get an animation did I want that uh, not really because that animation is nothing it's just a t-pose but uh, get out my face now if I click on that one is like that yeah there we go and uh, animations that's the one that he's doing and uh, let's just that's a sprint one hey it works uh, his shoulders are back a little bit and a bit funny but that's fine not perfect but that is a way that you can do it okay now if you don't want it like that what you can do All right, let's just delete these again now let's see if this will work now I'm just going to import it as normal now I'm not going to select a skeleton Let's see if this works any better. Shoopy doopy doo. Uh, you notice I always have the scale, the uh, physics asset 
unticked when I import. You didn't see it there, but just in case you get more and than what I've got here, now you know why. Now, as you can see here, is using that skeleton that it's just created. Now, I'm going to do something extremely dodgy here. I'm going to take a animation starter pack animation. This is not going to work, by the way, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. Uh, sprint forward rifle. Retarget animation set. It doesn't show here. Untick that. Pick that one and retarget. Now I'm going to put that into my Miximo, move there. So we've now got this one animation which should work on that. It's not showing there so as you can see not clever. <laughs> okay that's basically because the poses are all wrong. Okay but if you set up the animation retarget and the shoulders actually don't look too bad that way it's just the rest of it but, uh, yeah but if, if you wish you can t take your your mixing old characters let's just get rid of them a force delete You can, again, I'm just going to sh show it one more time. Just pick the correct skeleton. That's the one that we had. Uh, just so you can see here, uh, create physics asset is unticked. You can actually dis set which physics asset you wish to have for it. Uh, that's the enemy starter part. That's the that one so you could use that as well and you just go import yes I could have it import the materials and set the materials up as well but that's something I generally do by hand so you could go there well, it looks okay like that but obviously if we that doesn't let's see if I can get in there. It doesn't look too bad. His, his shoulders are a bit funny, but uh, on his wrists a little bit. But it's enough to get you started. And as you can see, there's a few skinning issues there. But if you want to use the anim starter set, it is possible. I just don't advise you getting too close to the model okay you, you might want to tw go back take that back out and tweak it in a 3d package to get it a, l a little bit better but uh, it is possible it's it's quick it's nasty and it'll get you there eventually it's just unfortunate that the uh, in the process Mixamo got oh, took over by Adobe and I don't think they're playing along with Unreal Engine or whatever. So just have to wait out and see. You never know. They might actually do what the other systems have done and b bought a game engine from somewhere. But we'll see. Anyway, it is possible. You can do it. Not fantastic, but obviously it gives you a head start so i'll just leave it at that and i'll see you soon